Hello, I'm Jess Bazo of Performative, an Argyle company, the leading online resource for the office of the CFO. I'd like to welcome everyone to today's event titled A Case Study, The Journey from Paper to Digital Processes. I'd like to thank our sponsor, DocuWare. DocuWare's document management and workflow automation software delivers deep digital solutions for finance, HR, and beyond. Their cloud and on-premise products are a recognized best fit solution for companies seeking to digitize, automate, and transform key processes. Their commitment to thought leadership in this realm helps us make today's webinar possible and delivered at no cost to the participants. In terms of the learning objectives for the webinar, you'll learn practical steps in moving from paper-centric processes to digital-first processes, real-world time and cost efficiencies from digitizing workflow in AP and AR, technology considerations and integration opportunities in digital content management, and finally, implementation best, practic best practices across satellite offices and subsidiaries. Before I introduce today's featured speaker, excuse me, our opening speaker, we have a few housekeeping items to cover. The slides are available under the resource list. We will send you links via email to the presentation and the recording within 24 hours. For those attendees seeking credit today, you must answer all three polling questions and remain on the line for the duration of the webinar. Credits are awarded in 24 hours. If you have any questions on credits, please email cpe at performative.com. Please submit any and all questions that come up during today's webinar into the Q&A section of the interface. And finally, please take the short survey at the end of the webinar. Now it's my distinct pleasure to, wel to welcome Bill Gaudet, Chief Strategy Officer with DocuWare. We're pleased to have Bill with us to deliver some opening remarks and to introduce today's speaker. I'll now turn things over to Bill to start us off. Welcome, Bill. Over to you. Hey, thanks, Jess, and thanks for setting us up. Um, on behalf of DocuWare, we welcome everyone to the call. Um, a big shout out to um, Marissa Jimenez from Samsonite. What she's put together here has, um, I mean, obviously, you know, from DocuWare's perspective, um, when you're able to showcase, you know, a raving uh, success story, you know, it always benefits us. But um, what she's put together here in terms of the content is really cool. And, uh, and my expectation is that everyone's going to uh, get a lot out of it. So let me turn it over to her. I'll be back at the end, and we're going to have Q&A as well. Marissa? Yes, I'm here. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm well. Thank you very much. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining this webinar and for giving me the opportunity to share my story with you. So I'm going to begin quickly. Um, Samsonite was founded over a century ago. It began as a truck, trunk manufacturing company. Since then, it has developed numerous innovations in luggage. As of December 31st, 2016, the company has reported $2.8 billion in sales. The company operates using decentralized structure across four key regions in more than 100 countries. Samsonite was introduced in 1941, and in 1993, American Tourister was acquired. In the past five years, the company has acquired seven brands. In 2012, High Sierra and Hartman. In 2014, Beck and Gregory, LePaul. And in 2016, our biggest acquisition yet, Toomey. This year, we have acquired eBags, which is our recent acquisition. So in March of 2015, I joined Samsonite as the AP and AR manager under the direction of the U.S. Wholesale Controller in North America Finance. My job is extremely process-driven. To name a few, from the AP side, uh, vendor master maintenance, payment proposals, invoice processing, tax payments, and expense reports from the AR Cash App application, um, applying cash and customer deductions. Additionally, in the finance organization, under the direction of credit and collection, we have warranty repairs, and in cost accounting, we have material master approval and record keeping processes. 
So a little bit about our life in finance. With the Tumi acquisition, our retail stores increased to more than 300 stores. On average, we process more than 6,000 invoices per month with more than 20,000 vendors worldwide. So as you can only imagine, our world before digitization and automation looked a little bit like this. There was a lot of paper everywhere. We printed absolutely everything multiple times, mind you. We had archived everything in-house, and then according to the record retention policy, we would store documentation to an off-site location. Additionally, since our satellite offices are located in many parts of the country, for instance, California, Florida, Chicago, New Jersey, Georgia, Massachusetts, as well as Mexico and Canada, documentation is also shipped constantly. Now I want to make a brief uh, pause for a polling question. Excellent. Thank you so much, Maritza. As Maritza mentioned, this is our first polling question. It says, what is the biggest challenge your finance team is currently facing? The answer options are paper-centric processes, managing staff accountability, balancing workload, processing delays, or lost revenue. Please take a few moments to select your answer. As a reminder for those attendees seeking credit for today's webinar, you'll need to answer all three polling questions. We'll leave this question up for a few more seconds to allow the remainder of the attendees to respond. And once we close this question down, we'll share the results and I'll read out the most popular answer before moving on. So please go ahead and make your final selection here. And what we'll do now is share the results. We can see the most popular answer with about 37.6% is balancing workload. Maritza, I'll now turn things back over to you to continue on. Thank you. So my main goals and objectives in this position, in this role, are to create efficiencies and find better ways to reduce costs. So I definitely needed help. There was too much wasted time making piles of copies, also were very challenging managing staff accountability, balancing workloads, which I just saw that is the highest, um, people share the same pain with me, um, processing delays and loss of revenue and searching. So I reached out to my IT department and explain my idea. They immediately recommended DocuWare, which interesting story, the, doc, the company had purchased the license five years prior with, with finance in mind. However, due to the change in management and multiple acquisitions, it went dormant. Anyways, um, when I expressed my interest and I got a DocuWare demonstration, I instantly fell in love with the tool. DocuWare allows flexibility to configure my current process and also provide features to make the process transparent to other teams. Everybody will have visibility on the process status with just one click. We immediately went to work and decided to start with SPEC. SPEC was, our, uh, was perfect. At the time, it was our most recent acquisition. Their offices are located in San Mateo, California, and I am in Massachusetts, and the warehouse is in Tijuana, Mexico. We already had a disadvantage with the different time zones and different locations. So I felt that the impact from automation would be instant. On the AP side, we divided in several stages. On stage one, all invoices were approved via email, then stored directly into DocuWare. We didn't have to print, copy, or file anything. The invoice approvers were able to search the invoices right in DocuWare, immediately seeing the invoice status and keeping track of their invoices. 
on the second stage of this process, we, approvers were set up in DocuWare. So they were approved in the tool, no more emails. And they will be stored automatically in DocuWare. The third step um, was to add workflows. We introduced workflows to the already built process in DocuWare. We learned from our first project, and we took advantage of from the new updates from DocuWare and incorporated it into the next project, which would have been to me. The biggest project by far is on the accounts receivable side. Doing cash application, hundreds of daily customer claims are to be coded, distributed to various teams throughout the country. These need to be reviewed and validated. Claims would then need to be returned to the credit and collection department to be either disputed or credited to the customer's account accordingly. This process is extremely time sensitive, as some of the customers only allow a very small window of time for us to charge back invalid claims. This could translate to thousands of dollars lost, as we weren't able to share the documentation with our internal teams for their review in time. Therefore, our credit and collection team weren't able to dispute the charges either on a timely basis. Thanks to DocuWare, we've had instant success. With DocuWare, we have been able to apply, apply cash post deductions to the teams routed by uh, specific recent codes, and then the teams were able to validate the claim and send it to credit and collections immediately. So the whole process used to take us three to four weeks. With DocuWare, it has been reduced to two to three days. This is unbelievable. This is one of my most proud projects ever in this company. Um, my success in here is driven by this project alone. Three to four weeks down to two to three days. Instant return on investment. Right here, we are going to make another stop for another polling question. Excellent. Thank you so much, Maritza. Uh, this is our second polling question. It says, what would be the biggest benefit of digitizing workflow in AP and AR? The answer options are faster automated processes, multiple teams collaborating, complete audit trails of processes, simplified and expedited auditing, or consistent processes across the business. Again, please take a few moments to select your answer. Another friendly reminder for those attendees seeking credit for today's webinar, you'll need to answer all three polling questions. This is the second one. We'll leave this question up for a few more seconds to allow the remainder of the attendees to respond. And just like last time, once we close this question down, we'll share the results and I'll read out the most popular answer. So please go ahead and make your final selection here. And what we'll do now is share the results. We can see overwhelmingly the most popular answer with 55% is faster automated processes. Maritza, I'll now turn things back over to you to continue on. Thank you, Jessica. Interesting answers, I love them. All right, so today's finance team, processes that we have in place. All divisions payment proposals are approved and processed through DocuWare. Controllers, treasury, sourcing, as well as account pay, accounts payable are working together in DocuWare. All teams have audit trails of the process, especially when controllers are in, in different states and time zones. Internal and external auditors have access to the digital file cabinets in DocuWare and are delighted to be able to select their own supporting documentation. DocuWare allows us to have 
controls in place and the information there that they are able to retrieve. Their biggest feedback is the ease in which they share the informa information. No additional paper copies, no e emails can be sent right from DocuWare. For the AR cash and customer deductions process, we have been able to configure SAP to feed customer deductions cover sheets into DocuWare as a starting point of the process. In addition, customers' invoices associated with a particular claim, as well as bill of lading, are also print printed directly into DocuWare from SAP. My team does not have to go and run SAP and download it and print it and scan it back, none of that. Straight from DocuWare, from SAP to DocuWare, all within the hour of cash application. This is the most positive feedback I have received from the team. As we used to print hard copies once a day, and it was very overwhelming and inefficient. So return investments, that matters. Cost, on, uh, cost savings on paper, toner, shipping costs, storage fees, avoid lay fees due to timely processing. Customer invalid claims are processed also timely, enabling us to recoup our payments. Team time, they're managed better. Staff feels that they can go on vacation without feeling overwhelmed. Other staff members can assist with their workload. Headache solved, misplaced documentation. Space saved, no filing. Searching now takes seconds. Anyone can easily find the supporting documentation in DocuWare within hours from the documents being posted in SAP. This is phenomenal, especially since it will take us weeks to be able to search from an off-site third-party vendor we use for digitalizing our documents. So what lessons have we learned? IT is a valuable partner. They know the right technology. And this makes all the difference. Support is necessary from all business units leads. We had to collaborate with many teams to get their support. Accountability was key. Providing the teams with a tool to manage their workload from their teams was my most successful selling point. Start small and find real value. Get good before you get big. I can't stress this enough. Have a vision and find support. Build a coalition. Don't give up. Remember why you started. Focus on the end result. Create efficiencies. Teams have embraced the change, especially when they can see the advantages from working as a team with the added bonus of having clean desks. So what are we aiming for? We would like to have all subsidiaries in DocuWare, continue to identify ways of utilizing to its maximum potential. DocuWare, without a doubt, is the way to go. We also want to roll out to offsite to other offsite brands beyond Spec and Toomey, which are almost 100% in DocuWare. eBags in Denver, High Sierra and Gregory in Chicago, and Samsonite Canada. As we grow, it would be ideal to have a project management team dedicated to work with all areas of the organization in identifying efficiencies. And lastly, full integration between SAP and DocuWare. This concludes my part of the presentation. Thank you so much for your time and for joining in. I now will turn it over to Bill. Thanks, Marissa. You're welcome. Appreciate you walking through that. Yeah. 
So for us, we do this every day for our customers. Um, and I would say with Samsonite, like many of our customers, um, you know, it's a two-way street. And a lot of times uh, we find the value and the customers find the value starting with a smaller implementation, proving it out, and then scaling it, just as Samsonite is doing. Um, you know, clearly we deliver the ROI around removing any remaining paper from your organization, but we do pride ourselves um, on process automation itself. Um, Docker is a very nimble and flexible tool, and uh, we can absolutely bend it the way that it needs to be bent to conform to your organization. Um, you know, the net-net for, for many people is the ability to help um, with internal audits and particularly uh, externally around the quarter as well, closing. Um, we integrate to any ERP system that you run uh, with what we call the Smart Connect button, which allows you to access all your documentation, invoices, et cetera, within your core application and not have to toggle back and forth. Um, and we have over 16,000 customers, um, and we estimate 70% of them are um, include deployments in and around the finance department. Um, so, again, very proud of um, our growth with, within Samsonite, and this is what we do very well. Um, we do this on-prem, and more and more we're, we're doing this in the cloud um, with Microsoft Azure as our partner. So please come visit DocuWare.com, uh, get a demo, and inquire on what we do around uh, finance. Yes? Excellent. Thank you so much, Bill. Thank you so much, Maritza, for a great session today. What we're going to do now is look at some of the questions that were submitted by the audience during the session. Just a friendly reminder, you can still submit questions to Bill. You can still submit questions to Maritza via the Q&A section of the interface, and we'll pose those out to them now. Um, Maritza, one of the first questions that we had come in uh, is directed towards you, um, and it says, how many users are, do you guys currently have on the DocuWare system today? And if you could talk a bit about the training and overall usability um, for your team, that would be great. Fantastic. So we have, when we started um, a couple of years ago, we had 30 to 35 users. This has grown because we are taking each of the teams. We add each of the teams as they, as they join in into DocuWare. So what, what was the second part of that question? I'm sorry, Jess. No problem. It said, um, how has the training and overall usability been for your team? Oh, yes. So we have, with the assistance of our IT um, partner, we had put together a uh, like a basic join-in, step-by-step, uh, how to use DocuWare. And then we try to use a couple of pages of li uh, lining out the process. We, we share the workflow with the teams as we build them. We try to have DocuWare do all, most of the work, um, if not everything. Um, we can do training um, on site. We can use Skype, and this has been extremely um, beneficial to us, especially um, for the offices that are in all kinds of, you know, in all parts of the country. So, yeah, and it's been it's been very very good. The the tool is very user friendly. So, um, the actual configuration, which is the the more intricate part, they don't get to see any of that. Um, and I say intricate part because I am not an administrator, so I don't know how that gets done. I just ask my partner here in IT, I want this and that, and within minutes, if not seconds, she comes around and she says, oh, this is done, go ahead and test it. That's how easy it is. So we do a lot of remote training or um, we go on site. Excellent. Thank you. Um, another question that we had come in, and maybe, Maritza, we can have you address this first, and then, Bill, we sure. can uh, pose it to you and, and see what you are seeing your customers look for. But um, it says, in addition to ease of implementation and cost, what other factors did you consider uh, when making your technology selection in terms of um, DocuWare? So I guess what, what uh, factors did you consider when, when choosing a technology partner? So I'm going to answer first. I 
I didn't, I kind of got uh, grandfathered in, so I didn't go out and search for any technology. The technology was available and ready for me to use. So I don't know if um, Bill can share from his perspective what is the most um, criteria with other customers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. I think... Well, a couple of factors. Um, I, you know, our, our core competence, again, is, is in and around um, finance and accounting. Um, and we have thousands of deployments and our PSO team, um, you know, our professional services team, we, you know, again, we, we customize a lot of uh, different workflows to suit, you know, all sorts of various processes and backend integration. So, so I would say, you know, our, our, our core competence around finance stands out. but. But it does, it, does actually, it does actually come back to ease of implementation um, and I would say kind of ease of, um, ease of use from a customer perspective. And, you know, frankly, DocuWare, DocuWare sees that internally, um, you know, through very low support tickets. So you can net that all out. And uh, DocuWare itself, I mean, we have a very low um, total cost of ownership. Um, again, goes in very easy, very cost efficient, and we're very nimble and flexible. So that's that's really our, our value prop. That's great. So, Thank you both. Oh, yep. Go ahead, Maritza. Yeah. So I see another question that was proposed here. How does DocuWare facilitate with invoice approvals on the AP side? Uh, it, it is uh, tremendous the amount of time that we have wasted. So, for instance, um, all the vendors, I would say 99.9% .9 of the vendors, mail, uh, email invoices. So, no more paper invoices. I, for us, majority of our vendors do that. So, when we get the email, um, when we get the email invoices, we put them in doc, we store it in DocuWare. DocuWare then takes them due to the way that we index those documents it go he knows exactly we configure it to go exactly to the approver the approver has a task list of all the invoices that are ready to approve and they go in and they just immediately stamp it with the approval write any notes or any information that we asked and in GL coding we configure a stamp for them to provide that information and it it, it immediately within in seconds it goes back to AP. So no more e emails. We always know when the invoices are pending for approvals, if they have been coded, if they have been coded incorrectly within Indocu where we can kick it back immediately, and it goes back to the approval for additional information. So it is very dynamic. It is very easy. We can monitor if there is any approvers that are um, – have pending invoices, or if they go on vacation, they can then reassign the invoices to somebody to cover for them. So we can always have invoices approved, and this has saved a lot of time for us. There's another one here um, that I think I want to take another shot at. Um, let me see. All right, so for Samson, I we have it on premise versus the cloud. So it is a web-based um, software that, and I don't, I don't want to attempt to know much about this, but on the, it, it just, we click on it and, um, and it comes up as a software and it is linked to our network ID. So it is a, it's a secure um, login and all our documentation is backed by our server. So everything is stored with our servers, the same server that we use for our ERP, which is SAP. I think, Bill, I am going to let you take the ERP integration other than SAP. Yeah, and just so we can yeah. read that out um, for the attendees as well, the, the question that was chatted in for Bill says, what other ERP integrations are there other than SAP? So, Bill, I'll toss that one over to you. Yeah, we're 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 integrated to to many many different systems. Probably the most popular ones where we build connectors, other than SAP or Sage, Great Plains, uh, QuickBooks, um, 
you know, so in the U.S., the, those those are the ones we probably see the most. Um, yeah, so again, we have pre-built connectors. We can also um, drop a CSV file, um, you know, daily um, in a batch-like style as well. Um, so, yeah. Excellent. Um, we had another question come in, Maritza. Um, I think this one is for you. It says, what are some best practices for getting buy-in for new technology? I know you talked about how you um, were able to achieve buy-in um, at Samsonite, and it says, um, what was the biggest hurdle you had to come, had to overcome, if any? So I would say um, you have to lay down the, better, the, the end result. You start backwards. So you have to say, you have to have a clear vision, and you have to believe in it, right? Because this is a big departure from um, usually uh, changing from a paper-based process to a digital process. There are going to be some pushback, and and it all comes with change. People are very hesitant to change because they don't understand that they think that they're not going to be able to know this new software. They think it's going to be difficult. They think that they're going to be inadequate. They think they are that their jobs are going to go away. So by having open lines of communication and doing demos and reassuring them that this tool is not to replace their job, it's just to make them more efficient. Say um, one of my biggest things was my we have staff that have been here for a long time and they're very good at what they do. So the paper element was a comfort zone for them. So trying to reassure them that they are going to be okay, that um, the they are going to, we need them that we need them to review the documentation, but the uh, but their their efforts are going to be employed in truly understanding and analyzing any issues and communicating with other teams, not printing, not making copies, not scanning, not standing there and um, filing. Also for management is you reduce overtime hours, you reduce additional part-time clerical positions that are coming in just to uh, file make copies. So whatever staff that you have, then you can have them uh, be more proficient with the system. So yes, there are hurdles. I am not going to lie. It cha implementing a change is challenging, but it is so worth it. Making the teams that are going to be directly affected with this change, participants of the change, Bringing them into the process as you do configure this um, document, showing them, doing little demonstrations, have them drive it, getting inputs from them. Uh, one of the things that I say to my teams is, in, in theory, everything sounds better than in practice. So because I don't sit there and I, I'm on the day-to-day -day responsibility side, um, I ask, for their input, I make them participate into it. What would you like? What would you like this to, to, to look like? What will make your life easier? What are the things that, down to what colors would you like the stamps to uh, to look like? And if you dig into more into document, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, so having them. So they feel that they feel a part of it. They feel like it is important, and and again, and not everything is perfect. And because you take it in small bites, there's always room for innovation. Also, Docuware comes up with new improvements and updates, and I love those. So I try to keep in, keep on top of them and and see if I can then incorporate those innovative um, updates. So I always have the team say, this is not set in stone, this can change, and it can be even better. So reassurance, uh, making part of the, of the process, uh, making yourself available is, is extremely important. 
Excellent. That's great. Thank you, Maritza. Um, Bill, this question uh, just came in for you. Um, it says, does a company have to be a certain size to leverage the DocuWare solution, um, or is it really applicable to, to different uh, company sizes? We'd love to hear your, your thoughts on that. Yeah, DocuWare is um, SMB all the way up through enterprise. So our, our customers come in all, all different sizes um, and different levels of complexity, quite frankly. Um, I think the, you know, the, the um, you know, the center of gravity for us, if you will, is the fact that, and Maritza pointed this out, but from a user perspective and from an admin perspective, um, it, it's quite intuitive. And, you know, we use, um, you know, irrespective of, of what size company you are, uh, first of all, we scale very well, but, um, but it, it does come back to us in terms of, uh, ease of implementation and uh, user adaptability. And on the user side, I mean, everything that we've configured in DocuWare, um, you know, kind of replicates your former life in, in paper. You know, the concept of uh, trays and inboxes and staplers and file cabinets. So um, I think when initial users pick it up, that it's, again, it's very intuitive um, for them to get a, a feel of the flow and how it works. Excellent. That's great. Um, and maybe we could have both of you respond to this next one as well. Um, Bill, it says, how much IT support is really required uh, for DocuWare? And then maybe, Maritza, or maybe we have you go first. Um, you can talk about your, your journey with partnering um, with IT and what that partnership looks like. So uh, maybe, Maritza, we could have you, you go first in terms of partnering with IT and, and any best practices for doing so. Yes, so we are very fortunate that our uh, IT management uh, team is very supportive. So they have allowed a, a person to, one of the um, associate analysts, to be dedicated to DocuWare, among other system implementations, right? So she is uh, phenomenal, and she has been able to work with me besides her other responsibilities. So the way that we tackle this, we we write out the plan and we set a schedule for when we like to have the configuration concluded and finished and tested. So we plan out different projects for the year and um, we break it down. So she's not solely doc DocuWare, so she supports other system implementations and auxiliary um, software in the company. But um, she she has been instrumental in um, in getting this up and running for us. Excellent, that's great, um, Bill. Any thoughts from the, um, the DocuWare? The DocuWare side on IT support and, and what that generally looks like? Yeah, we have a very, um, a very rich e-learning tool. And um, so that's made available to, to both the end users um, as, well as, the, um, as well as the customer's admins uh, to help them with uh, configurations and reconfigurations of their system over time as their processes change. So, um, you know, we pride ourselves on that. And, um, and uh, you know, for us, that again, that that puts more um, power and flexibility in the end users' hands to be less reliant on uh, DocuWare support. Obviously, we're we're here for all our customers, but um, you know that that that's been uh, kind of our objective and what what we've executed on to you know last ten years is is getting more e-learning into all the customers' hands. Great. Uh, Maritza, this next question is for you, um, and it says, based on your experience, how did you prioritize where to get started at Samsonite? So maybe you could talk um, a bit about that. I think you had a slide referencing that as well, but um, again, the question says, based on your experience, how did you prioritize where to get started? Sure. So Spec was, at the time, our most recent acquisition, so when I came on board, I I had to manage the system implementation and the conversion of the um, share services. So AP and AR became uh, part of our 
chair, chair services, so uh, we had to train new staff. So I took the opportunity, since it was a new uh, business that we had to handle, we took the opportunity to build it, and we built it as a, just with the means of storing uh, the invoices, just to minimize the emails. So we broke that out into three stages, right? So the first one was, uh, this no more no filing no um archiving no printing no none of that we we would get the invoices emailed from the vendors then then we would send it out to the approvers via email again they are located in San Mateo and Tijuana Mexico and we are here in Massachusetts so we will email them and ask them please review and approve this invoice and code it so we will get the email connected directly with DocuAir. So you can do that. You can connect. One of the features that DocuAir has is you connect email to um, DocuAir. We will then store it. Our AP team will then um, post it in SAP. So at that time, we took advantage of having all the invoices in DocuAir backed by the network. Um, we were able to search with just the document number from SAP. We didn't have to archive it by alphabetical or anything like that. We just enter the document number, we will be able to retrieve the, the invoices. So the second state, stage of that was to bring on board the approvers, tackle the business areas in the company that handled the biggest value in um, invoices for instance, marketing, or um, what can I say, uh, inventory. So we would tackle those groups, configure uh, them receiving access, make them a, a user of DocuAir, creating a, a task list for them, and having them view their invoices in DocuAir, so no emails. We would get the invoices from the vendor, we would upload it into DocuAir, and the invoice will autom automatically populate in their task list. They will review it in the task list, they will add any document to any supporting documentation that they wanted, and they will send it over to um, AP with a stamp. We then later learn about the workflow processing, which is automatically. We don't have to trigger it. It's just, it happens automatically as we configure it. So again, we broke it down. We provided training as needed. We started bringing in um, teams. Then the word of mouth was amazing because as we were bringing teams on board, they wouldn't they talk to them to other teams within the, the company and the offices. Oh, are you in DocuAir? Oh, this is great. No more emails. I would get emails and, and calls and say, when are we going to be in DocuAir? We don't want those emails or anything. So that word of mouth was very positive. So getting everybody engaged and, and truly having them see um, the time-saving and efficiencies from DocuAir was crucial. Excellent. That's great. Thanks so much for sharing um, those examples there, Maritza. I'm sure that was helpful for our listeners today. Um, Bill, maybe from your perspective as well, um, any common trends in terms of where you're seeing um, other customers start this process of um, implementing any best practices um, for that? Uh, yeah, I, I would say mostly um AP is a, is a place that we typically start. We actually have a prepackaged solution um, that, uh, that has some core workflows, and we do that uh, extremely inexpensively. I mean, we have a, a PSO package that's, quite frankly, less than $3,500, and we get you up and running in less than two and a half days. So, um, so yeah, but, but we, we, see it, we see a lot and have always seen a lot around, uh, around AP. Fantastic. Um, and Bill, we had another question come in directed towards you. Um, it says, does DocuWare work with any ERP system? In our case, it's NetSuite. Um, so I guess I'll, I'll pause there before I uh, see uh, the second part. 
Yeah, we we have. I didn't call NetSuite out. We we have integrations with NetSuite. Perfect. Um, and the, the second part to this question here um, says, how long is an average implementation? My guess is, you know, that that varies widely depending on the company. But is there a general time frame um, you're seeing it take to implement? Yeah, we try to do everything inside of two weeks. Excellent. So I would say our, That's great. Again, yep, yep. Great. Um, Maritza, I guess this, this question is for you, and then maybe, Bill, we can have you. I can see both of you answering this one here. But um, Maritza, this says, what was the biggest warning sign that it was time to move to automation and digitization? Um, just from listening, I know you talked about some challenges around um, too much paper, printing, and some challenges with archiving. Anything else um, that was kind of a red flag for you guys? Where with the... With acquisitions, the downside of that is changing in staff and turnover. So with that goes a lot of the knowledge of processing, um, you know, of knowing the processes. So when I came on board, um, the the department had been moved over here, and I didn't have the luxury of knowing the my predecessor. So. Um, all the documentation was sent over to me in boxes. So um, since I was starting over, I felt that it was easy to have everybody be able to have access to this documentation. And we cannot afford, uh, we can't afford to think backwards. We have to, as we continue to grow, we don't have space in our area to store. So as we grow, we need more space for our staff and less space for storing. So I felt that it was time. In some areas, we still are paper-based. Again, it is, um, it is a change in culture. But little by little, we will get there. Excellent. That's great. Um, Bill, same thing. Any any particular warning signs you're seeing customers or even potential customers come to you guys with um, and say, hey, we, we think it's time. Um, we need a, a technology automation solution in here. All right. I mean, it's it's bread and butter. It's paper, and it's, uh, and it's tight enough processes. It's really that simple. Excellent. No, that's great. Um, I think we, we addressed all of the questions that came in now, but just as a reminder, um, if you have additional questions um, for either Bill or for Maritza, you guys can chat those into the Q&A, and we'll be sure to share what, those with them post-event um, so they can follow up with you guys individually. Again, we want to say thank you so much to Bill. Thank you so much to Maritza for a great session today. As a friendly reminder, you can access today's slides under the resource list section of the interface. Please join us at performative.com to continue the conversation with your peers in the community. And if you'd like an introduction to Maritza or to Bill and DocuWare, you can tell us in the survey. Once again, we'd like to thank our partner, DocuWare, for making today's webinar possible. Finally, we'll now transition to our third and final polling question of the day. The third polling question says, where is your organization on the journey from paper to digital processes? The answer options are, we have already moved to digital first processes. We have concrete plans to move to digital first processes. We are just beginning a technology review or we see the need but are not yet ready. As a reminder, you must answer all three polling questions to receive credit for today's webinar. And to be conscious of everyone's time, we'll read out the most popular answer, uh, but we'll not have discussion around the results. As we are taking a moment to allow everyone to respond, just a friendly re reminder that we value any and all feedback, so please remember to fill out the brief survey that you'll see on your screen once we close the meeting out. Again, we'll leave this question up for a few more seconds before closing everything down, so please go ahead and select your final answer. And what we'll do now is share the results. Here they are. The most popular answer uh, with 35.4% is we see the need, but we are not yet ready. So hopefully Bill and Maritza shared some great insights with you guys today that you can take back to your organizations as you guys continue to make this decision. 
Once again, we want to thank Bill, we want to thank DocuWare, and we want to thank Maritza for a great session today. And finally, we want to thank all of our attendees for joining us on today's webinar. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day and have a great week. Thank you.